Just gotta get out of here before he does wake up because he would kill me if he comes back here and finds me. Hello there. <coughs> Hello, cat. Hey! Uh-oh, the darn cat really did it to you this time. Tripping over the cat, you fall to your death. You look mighty funny falling down those stairs, Gwydion, he snickers. Oh yeah, because we have the dough in our ears, we understand how animal, animal talk now. And also... Sound... On. <sighs> We're not completely done with all the spells, because there's still some things that we need to do. But we cannot do them yet because we're missing an item. At least there's one spell that needs to be done. And this estable pet of Manadans is a constant annoyance. Get lost, Queenie, you creep. Can I kick the cat? <laughs> miss me. Damn that cat! <sighs> Guess I just had to keep going back up and down to wait until the cat is gone completely. <laughs> Learn to stairs, noob. It's not easy when there's a homicidal cat waiting on top of the stairs to get th through them. So finally we are out of here. So now we move the lever. Move. Trapdoor groans, groans shut, disappearing into the floorboards. Move the book. Let's see. Uh, you move the big book back where you found it so it again conceals the metal lever. You don't want the old wizard to go suspicious of your activities. Of course not. Now we go back here. Open the cabinet. Unlock the oaken cabinet using the brass key. You carefully replace the magic wand exactly as you found it. Zip. The spells, yeah, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> come in. For some reason, I always hate these stairs, maybe because they're so wonkily animated or drawn. So they're difficult to get up. Put cookie in porridge. The porridge conceals the crumpled cookie. It still looks as appetizing as ever. So let's uh, drop our inventory under the bed again. To hide all our magic items. That will be safe for the sharp eyes. Just get the porridge back. You very you were careful when you crumbled the cat cookie into the porridge. It looks just like a plain bowl of porridge. As it should. Stupid cat, stupid cat, get out of my way, you stupid cat.
So we got two and a half minutes to wait until Mananan appears. Because he needs to wake up. He needs to wake up so we can feed the man. At least I hope that he will be hungry. Waiting for the whiz. <sighs> no mananan around. There he is. Had a nice nap. Gwydion, I have awakened. I'm ravenous. Fix me something immediately. Oh, sure. We have just the perfect item for you, Mananan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. We're gonna give you some food, alright. Give porridge to Mananan. You place the food on the table before the hungry wizard. Ravenously, he devours every bit of it. Good. Because this happens. I said, this happens. You fooled him! Mananan didn't realize the porridge was tainted and ate the whole bowl. Yes! Congratulations! Mananan will never again enslave you or the people of Ludor. At last, you are free! Since we are free, we can turn the clock off. There. And there's Mananan. Manana will never annoy anyone again. Now we can do this. You'd better get on with your quest. Manana is no longer a bother to anyone. But I want to kick him! <sighs> he really deserves a kick in the balls. Oh well. Manana is now... done for. Now let's get our all of our stuff back. Yeah. <laughs> Get inventor. Get inventor. Yes, we got all of our stuff back, and we are safe from the wizard. Uh, let's see. Eh. Now we can look at the map. And use it safely. The magic map's faded ink has brightened, and, but only in those places where you have been. If you use this map before you turn Mananan into a cat, he would have found you and killed you because you were using magic items. So F6 to teleport. Yeah, let's see, we need to teleport to... Uh, to this area. The store and tavern. Let us travel, and so it shall be! So I guess that's how Mananan gets around. He has a magic map that he uses to teleport.
free from the wizard. Now let's go in the tavern. Oh look, it's the bandits. Bundles of rum and wine sit atop shelves behind a bar. Two surly looking characters are drinking ale at the table. Looking closer, you see that they are the bandits from the forest. One of the surly looking characters yells to the barmaid, Wench, come over here with more ale. That is a big headed wench. Look at the size of her head, it's like ugh, bloated and huge. Not to, her, not to mention her chest. What's a wench? Uh, look, lady. What's a lady? Oh, God, this game is stupid. The bosom, buxom barmaid has an air of hardened determination. You get the feeling that she doesn't take any guff from anybody. Well, uh, judging from her size, I wouldn't dare to do anything to her. Or at least rub her the wrong way. So let's dip fly wings in essence. You keep. We turn into a fly. I wonder if we can look at the breasts. <laughs> I think this game was made before Leisure Suit Larry was even a thing, even a thought in Lau Alo's mind. So, <laughs> buzz. Listen to bandits. I wonder how I can listen to these guys. I'm supposed to be listening to them talk about their hideout. I guess it happens automatically. Let's just wait. Still nothing. Come on, bandits. Talk. Why aren't these guys talking about... Uh, I need to find some hints. How about the other walkthrough? Magic spell is wearing off. Well, great. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna load the game and just... I'm just trying to find a... Yeah. How am I supposed to find out about their hideout? Or maybe I don't need to even listen to them anymore because 
I already found out about their hideout. I'm sure they just tell us how to open the... Uh, how to open... Or bring down the... Uh, rope ladder. Yeah, that's what they would do. They would just tell you about the uh, hidden rope ladder. Yeah, they would just tell about the hidden ladder. That's all they would do. Kind of a stupid, uh, a really stupid uh, walkthrough that I'm using here because it's telling me to do that now when I've already taken the coin purse from the freaking bandits. I wouldn't get any kind of points of doing this. Or maybe I can get some points. <sighs> Let's see. Obviously, you were raised by a naughty wizard. <laughs> so I actually could look at tits. <laughs> I can't look at breasts, but I can look at tits. Right. Uh, let's see if I can actually order an ale or just talk to the woman. Keep your search on your ordinary bastards, the barmaid yells. I'll be there quick enough. Without taking her eyes off the two men, she says, I'll be happy to take your order, but be quick about it, because those two are keeping me hoping. I don't really need to order anything from here. One of the ugly rogues scowls at you and says, Beat it, kid! So how about I go, go into this corridor here? Now dip the fly wings in essence. We turn into a fly. You overhear snatches of the tube and this is conversation. Scrim just log a pig. Now the rope you rig inside of that big oak tree works great. Now nobody here find all right out. I'll even I'll put even that wizard. <laughs> so that worked. So let's just go to the west. Then as a fly. So I did get points from eaves dropping on them. Enter hole. Buzz. In your insect form, you fit easily through the hole in the tree. You have flown through the hole at the base of the tree and you are now inside the hollow trunk. You see a rope leading up into the small hole above you. This area is cramped and confining, even for a fly. And we leave the tree. 
So fly be gone myself return. Boop. What's a be gone? Dot dash comma. Fly be gone myself return. <sighs> if I'd learn how to type the impulse to boss around has vanished. You feel yourself growing bigger, so you head for what you hope is a safe place to land. <laughs> that was a flying experience. Burp. So let's look at the map. One area left at the top right corner of the map. So we need to go to the uh, cave. Boop. So it shall be. And also, I've noticed that I haven't taken the, a look at the other two areas around here. First of all, over here. This area. Which is which is uh, just a beach. Let's see what the other area is right to the north. Oh, that's the uh, tree. Well, it can't be just that area because I've been there already. Huh. Maybe I do need to go to the beach. After all, could be a totally separate area. Because I'm curious of seeing what there is here. All big beach. Yup. Nothing else. Okay. So let's see what we can find in the uh, cave. <laughs> 